So every first and third Thursday is the study of sacred scriptures. And we've been around the pole. We've looked at the third eye. We've, we've looked at uh, things in the Husea. We've looked at things in the in 2000 seasons, destruction of black civilization, stolen legacy, just to, just to kind of review our, our sacred scriptures. Sometimes we don't get a chance to look at them or, or even see how the words in there apply to a particular situation. So that's, that's what we're doing uh, this evening. And if someone feels led, uh, as we begin, if someone feels led to open us up with prayer, um, we invite you to come and, and the next one and the next one. Uh, so let's let's begin. Well, Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Divine Indweller of every heart and mind, we thank you for uh, this life, this chance that we have been given to uh, return our minds, return our souls uh, to uh, the realization that we are part and parcel with you. We thank you, dear God, for this life. We thank you for uh, these bodies that we have been given, that we strive to take care of so that we may um, exhibit part of the divinity that you've given us. We thank you for the life of uh, Sisterly Young. We thank you for uh, her, her family, her, her parents uh, that have uh, been with her uh, throughout her sojourn as she uh, uh, traveled in a wheelchair. We thank you for the strength that she developed uh, where she was even able to um, change a tire on a car. We thank you for uh, the miracle of her being able to give birth uh, to a son, Amari. We thank you for these that are that have joined us in this study of sacred scriptures. We ask that you would bless each one and touch each one in a special way. Guide and direct us all. Lead us from the unreal to the real. Lead us from darkness to light and lead us from mortality to immortality is our prayer. Amen. Ashe. Amen. Ashe. Amen. Ashe. 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 Amen. Listen, um, uh, one love to each each and every one um, that's that's here. Um, and, and we want, want to recognize our uh, our brother that we haven't seen in a long time, Shashim. Say <laughs> Shashim, and uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that he uh, tuned in to join us today. So uh, I want to I want to uh, switch my uh, screen. If there's if there's no further if there's a question or something that we could uh, be uh, dealing with or or talking about, or glad to. Uh, Glad to discuss it. Anyone? Okay. So, um, I love this this ankh, you know, and it's on a, it's on a lotus flower, and here, this uh, this symbol means eternity, and we have the keper symbol. Uh, which is the symbol of, of, of rising with the sun lit. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you would investigate Kepper, you know, the way that dung beetle, the, 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 the back of it looks like the human skull. And uh, this is representative of the Kundalini. So we're studying sacred scriptures today. And this was, this ankh was found among the uh, treasures of uh, Tut Ankh Amun, a uh, living image of Amun uh, <clears throat> in Tut. So, you know, as I uh, put this here, it, 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 uh, it, 
it reminded me that, okay, that might be hard to read. So I need to, I need to make it bigger. Let's see. Let's see if I, can, uh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so I'm, uh, let's see, let's see if I can make it uh, a little legible. So this is from uh, the book of Dialogue with the Soul, number three. And uh, I've read this at my grandparents, uh, my, my grandfather passed away uh, in 1990. And, and uh, in my family, on my father's side, there's a lot of, a lot of Catholicism. So I, I went, uh, it was at this church called uh, St. Cyprian. And um, as some of you may know that uh, Cyprian was one of the um, founding fathers of the uh, Christian church. He was, a, he was an African uh, father. And uh, it, so it, my, my family goes to this church called St. Cyprian Holy Comforter. And the priest that was there, um, oddly enough, he was he, not an African, but uh, really versed in Mott. You'd be surprised at some of these ministers and priests they might know more about uh, our history than we do. And um, I don't know, I, I thought I saw uh, Kari Heb Shango, uh, St. Cyprian, Holy Comforter. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with where that church is, um, Shango, uh, but it was, a, it was a priest there and, and uh, he grabbed me, uh, you know, and, uh, and just started, you know, hugging me. And he kept saying, Imhotep, Imhotep, Imhotep. And I was, and I turned around and looked at my uncle, like, you know, what's going on? And, and, and he was like, I've been to Egypt. I spent three months there. And, uh, you know, and, you know, I said, well, you know, I heard that there's a statue of Imhotep at, um, at, at the Franciscan order of priests. And he says, here, you know, in, in DC. And I, and I said, I'm not sure. He says, well, they probably stole it. And then uh, at the services, when I read this, thus death to me today is like health to the ill, like going outdoors after confinement. Death to me today is like the smell of myrrh, like sitting under the sail on a windy day. Death to me today is like the fragrance of lotus, like sitting on the shore of feasting. Death to me today is like a well-trodden way, like returning home from war. Death to me today is like the clearing up of clouds from the sky, like a person discovering that which was unknown. Death to me today is like the longing to see home after spending many years in captivity. And then he continues in number four, and he says, surely one who reaches the beyond will be like a living God, punishing the offenses of the wrongdoer. Surely one who reaches the beyond will be one who stands in the sun bark of Ra, causing abundant gifts to be given to the temples. Surely one who reaches the beyond will be considered wise and will not be prevented from appealing to Ra when he or she speaks. And my soul said to me, cast aside your, your complaint, cast aside, cast your complaints aside, my comrade and brother, make offerings on the sacrificial fire and cling to life as I have said, love me your soul here, set aside thoughts of death and desire death only when your body joins the earth. Then I will alight on you after you, you have become truly weary and we shall dwell together forever. I just think that that's such a, a beautiful, um, just um, scripture on this, on this topic, uh, I'm going to uh, stop sharing just for a minute. How many are familiar with that uh, that passage? 
I am. Um, actually, for some reason, I so, so, seek uh, this uh, book of contemplation last week, and I was reading it last week. I'm not exactly sure why. Sometimes, you know, you just open up the the Husea and, and it'll just be on that page. And that's and that's where you're where you're starting to read. You know, some some people might just open up Patahotep, be diligent as long as you live, always doing more. You know, just it, it you, you know, you just oh, you, you, you know, you don't have it marked, it'll just it'll just be there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah. I like them all. Yeah, I I, I do too, because they all have they all have their place. You know, they all they all have a meaning to uh, dwell on. I see Brother Damani's got his got his uh, Husia out there. Uh, you know, he's reading along with us. Yeah. Okay. So um, let me go back. And then, um, so I received this from um, Brother Nantambu. So uh, in addition to the Husia, Dr. Karinga has, uh, has uh, authored this book, the Odu Ifa, Ethical Teachings, um, translation and commentary. Uh, so it has to do with uh, Ifa. Um, uh, many uh, people refer to that as Yoruba tradition in West Africa. And Nantambu pointed this uh, scripture out to me. Um, would someone like to read that? Someone like to read that? Can you make it a little bit bigger? Oh, I can read it. The teachings, the, there you go. The uh -huh. teachings of Ifa were interpreted for the wise ones who assembled and invited some Baba Lawo to interpret the teachings of Ifa on death. They asked, why is it that death kills people and there is no one who does not die? The Baba Lawo said that Ifa says it is good that Amuniwe, Amuniwe, the one who brought us into the world, created death. Water which does not flow back and forth becomes a pond of polluted water, a pond of water which causes disease. Water takes people away freely and water brings them back freely. Let the ill go home to receive a new body. Let the corrupt go home to receive new character so they may return to the world. The Baba Lawu then asked, what is unpleasant about this? The wise ones bowed in respect for Ifa, saying, the offering has been made, may it be accepted and may it be blessed. Then they dispersed and went away and they no longer regarded death as a matter of sorrow. Mm. So that's a very interesting um, um, passage. Um, let's Let's have a... A little discussion about that. Uh, do I need to bring it back up as we're discussing it? Do you need to to be seeing it, or or can can we just look at each other? And what what so what, so Ed, what did you think about that? What did... Well, when you read, it's for me when I read something, it's different than reading it without talking. So, <laughs> but uh -huh. it seemed like like they were questioning why people die. Yeah, yeah. And and everybody has that question. You know? Yeah, I'll have yeah. to look at it again to, to get a different understanding, but that seems to be. It's, let me, let me it bring it back. It seems like the answer too was, they gave an answer as to um, what happens when um, you die also. Mm -hmm. Basically, you know, you either, come back, you know, for those that have done things, you know, or died of, you know, of disease or whatever, they go back and they become well and come back again. And those who have done things, you know, it seems as though corrupt things, things they just shouldn't have done, 
then they have to come back. But those that haven't, then they get to go forth and yes. to a higher, you know, way. But to me, uh, death, I, I have, I see death, I used to see death as, as it being something sad and sorrowful. And it was until the day that <clears throat> I was allowed to say goodbye to my mom uh, as she was dying. And, um, and I was uh, allowed to say goodbye to my husband as he was dying. And, and it, was, it wasn't a sad thing. It was, uh, I was glad and grateful that I was there, you know, in their presence and we had a chance to talk and we had a chance to say goodbye and uh, to me that was priceless to me that was just you know you know I didn't get that chance to do that with my dad even though we talked the day before nor with my brother who committed suicide uh I, I still had that opportunity for some reason to, to be able to say goodbye to them. And that was, to me, that was, that was priceless and it wasn't a sorrowful thing. Yes. And this is just confirming it, the things that they say here and, and in the Husea was just confirming it to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else um, doing now? Uh, I would say I'm not surprised by death. I never question it because it's something that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, I always seen death as uh, coming to something else, like a tree, uh, any seed. Uh, it just, what do you call it, uh, re, re, re manifest itself? Yes. Uh, nothing's ever dead and with God. It's always generating somewhere else. Just like a cow goes and boo boos in the, in the, in the grass, they mm -hmm. use the grass for, they use it for fertilizer, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, just like something dies or something eats off of it. You know, everything yeah. is always living just in different forms. Life is just different forms to the way I see it. it, always has been. So I see death as like uh, we didn't take care of ourselves properly enough. God never kills us, we kill ourselves, you know, but uh, manifest another form, you know, just mm -hmm. something that we do it. Uh, you know, there's, there's no law that says you're going to die at a certain age, there's no law at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's just uh, continuous in, in this world or the next world. That's just who we are. I never question it. Always look, for, always having a conversation with other people, just to get the uh, 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 talk about something we don't know. But I don't go too far with that because I don't know, you know. So I just, yeah, it's kind of where I'm at with it. Sure, sure. Um, it, you, uh, go ahead. So who, who's that? That was me, um, Minister. Good evening, everyone. This is Sister Judy. Um, yes, I, I was thinking, you know, that every, if you look at nature and the universe and everything is energy, everything is always in motion. Then if you think about it, um, things move in cycles and it's really a circle. Everything is a cycle. So birth comes in, you know, it's part of that, the laws of opposites, birth and death you know, they're almost equally opposite. So to keep things in motion, uh, you would think if, if it's a cycle and it's a cycle, you know, secular or cycle, cycle motion, you know, the death can't, the beginning or the earth can't happen or it can't keep going until the death happens. The death, you know, keeps the cycle going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's no, it's no beginning or end, but it's just part of the circle of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, um, Sister Tony, thank you, thank you, uh, Sister Judy. Well, I haven't quite grown up yet <laughs> to where I can not be sad, and I mean everything that's been said makes sense. But, you know, maybe because um, I lost my mom at such a young age, mm -hmm. that might have something to do with it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when I think, I, I, I'm still growing, but like I said, I, I'm not that grown up yet, Brother Shasham, I'm working on it. But, you know, I think about, wow, I, I, I won't 
be able to do this again and I won't be able, and I guess maybe I would be able to deal with it a little bit better if I thought that when I came back, I would remember mm -hmm. so that I can, if where I lacked and what I didn't do or, you know, where I need to improve that, I, that I am aware of it. And maybe subconsciously you are, but mm -hmm. it, it, it saddens me. I, you know, I, I, I'm at the age where I'm losing so many friends and yeah, I, I it still saddens me and make me cry, but I guess at one point I'll get over it. I mean, I'll grow up so that it, you know, it won't hurt so much. Well, you know what? I, 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 um, I hope, um, I hope you all are not, uh, interpreting, um, me saying that, Hey, you shouldn't be sad because um, we miss the closeness of that person, you, you know? And, and so we, we can't pick up the phone or we can't, uh, uh, you know, we, we won't see them in the physical. Again. And then I don't know if you've ever had dreams. I see your hand, Judy, hold on. Uh, uh, I don't know if you've ever had dreams of, of a person that when they pass away, and they're in your dream, they're not saying anything. You know, you know it's like a, the, it, it, you know, I, I don't know if they're even communicating mentally, but, but, you know, and then later on, maybe like a year or two, they're in your dream and then they're talking, you know, it's like, it's like they go through a, like a, like a period. Uh, oh, okay. Hold, can, hold, relate, hold. can relate, can relate. Yes. Hold your hold your hold your uh, hold your thoughts, Shishim. Uh, Judy, uh, and then Shishim, and let me see who who else is, has his, had their hand up. Uh, and and then Shukri, I will let you go. Uh, uh, and 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 I see the money too. So so Judy, um, Shishim, uh, Sugar D, and Damani, go ahead. Okay. Well, what I was going to say. That's funny. You said dreams. I was thinking about what Sister Tony just said. I lost my mom and I'm an only child when I was 14 and uh, we were very very close but I had a revelation um, as I was riding up to some family friends house my uncle and I thought wow all all these good people die young I thought about Martin Luther, Martin Luther King and these other people and then it just like a peace came over me and I said there's something good about death because there's got to be why would these people but I was going to say when you mentioned the dreams I was that was the comment I was going to make also you know just as something for Tony sister Tony to think about and all of us you know I look at the fact that when you dream this is just my belief that that's like another life you know you're on the other side you're you know you I do so many things in my dreams and it's very vivid and I think a lot of times that when you do pass you're just going to open your eyes and whoo, you're like wow there's a whole nother you know another chance to do all of the things that you think you won't be able to do because oh my goodness I, you know I think they're just we're infinite beings spiritual beings having a human experience and so oh. that was it true 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 um, uh, 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 sister sugar d and then damani uh, go ahead I think that was the order. Oh, and no, it wasn't. It was I'm sorry, it was Jim. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Just Jim, Sugar D, then Demani. Go ahead. See, I got two things I want to comment on. Uh, the first is uh, to lose someone is it's kind of devastating, you know. Uh, I lost my mother. I lost my daughter. My daughter was more devastated than my mother because she passed, my daughter passed before me. And it was a real hurtful thing inside to miss her. Uh, she, left a she left a daughter herself and grandchildren. And so it's hard, you know, but at the same time, I accepted myself, that's just life. We all go through this, nobody escapes it. Like, like a friend told me one time, nobody's getting out of this alive. You know, that's just the truth, you know. And the other one is, uh, Speaking of dream, I did have a dream this morning. Uh, I woke up at 2.30 and went back to sleep. 
And this brother that I know, I never dreamed about him before, but he was talking to me, you know. Uh, it was a dream that I, I remember very vividly because it was not a pleasant dream. It wasn't a violent dream, but this person I knew was tough. You know, he could hurt you, he would hurt you. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to mention by dream. I mean, I, I had quite a few dreams, but this one just recently, this morning, so I just don't want to speak, say something on that. Okay, I'm through. No, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Sh Sugar D, go ahead. I really didn't have a comment. I just said I could relate to you saying okay. that someone comes in your dream and they won't say anything. And then maybe later, later, later on, there they are and they're talking. And, and you just, it's like, wow. But uh, anyway, yes. It, and, and, and I agree that it is very hurtful when you do lose someone. But um, it also, when I reflect on that type of thing, I reflect on that person and, and what that person meant to me. And sometimes it just puts a smile on my face and on my heart also. Yes, 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 yes. good, thanks. Bro Brother Damani. Oh, I just was gonna say, um... And I always contemplate why the, the, the ancient Kemites, our ancestors, were so, um, I guess, so interested in immortality. You know, you read the back of Stolen Legacy and the body is a prison house of the soul that can be liberated from his body impediments. Probably and the purpose fired. of life was to be sumo buno. I, I can't pronounce the word sumo buno. Yeah, the son, son of bunum. Yes, the greatest that means good. The God like in character. Yes. Right. And uh, it seemed like our ancestors paid more attention to, well, I wouldn't say paid more attention to, but focus on the end so we can appreciate the journey to death, you know, because uh, I guess without death, we couldn't, uh, it wouldn't take time to love in the presence, you know? Uh, it wouldn't uh, take time to appreciate life. Because like someone said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 62 and it seems like I'm losing, losing a lot of people. A lot of people in my generation is passing away. It's almost like daily, man. It's like every day I hear some, I hear somebody's passing away. It's like, whoa. Yes, yes. It's like it's getting close. I mean, it's getting closer and closer to home. And uh, but just like someone also said about the seasons, the seasons are, you know, our ancestors come through the uh, come through the understanding of God through the meticulous study of nature. You know, we knew that nature had birth, growth, you know, the seas, four seasons we have every day, birth, growth, uh, and then old age, and then death, and then it's like a recycle. Yeah. It was always very interesting. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, that's all right. Uh, is, was there anyone else? I didn't want to. Uh, I, yeah, one thing, Bible law. I have Bible a question. Means, uh, Father of the mysteries. Yeah, a, a, a Babalao is is uh, is a teacher. Is 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 a uh, is. Um, I don't think the word guru would uh, be equivalent, but a Babalao is is a teacher uh, within the uh, Ifa tradition. Um, okay, I uh, think it means a father of the mysteries, right? Okay, a teacher. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, Mona, Sister Mona, you had, you yeah, had a, I, I just have a, a question. Mm -hmm. I haven't studied Ifa, and with that particular reading, I was not clear on understanding uh, the symbolism of the water. Can you speak to that? Well, I think what they're referring to is, um, let me bring this down. So, um, you don't want, so water, which does not flow back and forth, becomes a pond of polluted water, a pond of water which 
causes disease. So he's equating um, in this the uh, the spirit. Uh, you, you know, if it just stays uh, stagnant, you know, mm -hmm. like hundreds of years, you know, it can become a a pond of polluted water, which causes disease. And then it goes on. Water takes people away freely and brings them back safe and brings them back freely. If the, the Ill, if the ill go home, let the ill go home to receive a new body. Let the corrupt go home to receive a new character. So that, and, and you know what? Now this is something that we generally think of in the Eastern traditions. And it says, so that when they may right. return mm -hmm. to the world. Reincarnation. Yeah. Re in the Eastern tradition. Uh-huh. And then, and so then the Babala, what is unpleasant about this? You know? So I think it's, I think it's using a, 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 a simile, uh, you know, related to, okay, if you just, if you just uh, imagine a, a, a pond, that just there, you know, uh, it's it's not moving, it's not flowing, it's 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 stagnant. stagnant. Uh, a, a lot of uh, mosquitoes come to that to that pond. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of a lot of things that aren't uh, healthy uh, develop. So that's the way I I took that to mean that. And uh, mm -hmm. let me just say, I am not an expert in Ifa at all. Uh, but I just found this uh, this uh, passage uh, very intriguing and um, germane to the the subject that we're talking about uh, tonight. Um, someone has put something in the chat. I hope it's not private to me. I hope. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, uh, uh, Mama Fu had to leave. Okay, I had to leave in a minute. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. Yes, go ahead, uh, uh, Sam. You know, this uh, this reading right here makes uh, good sense to me. Uh, and just the natural forces of life. Mm -hmm. about We're going to die from something. It says right here, you don't live forever because uh, water flows one way, flows the other way. And pretty soon things get polluted in our bodies, you know, and we pass away from pollution, you know. Yeah. And then we come back, another life, uh, the thing about uh, what re uh, reincarnation, mm -hmm. I had this uh, conversation quite a bit with my uncle, and uh, he really believes in it. You know, I say okay, but we come back in reincarnation as a better person. You learn your lesson, so you so you you, you develop to a better person. Uh, that's it. Yeah, and that's yeah, a that's... part of what they believe is that you keep coming back until you get it right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Age. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's that's the general belief. I'm going yeah. to I'm going to move on now to the next scripture. I like to say also the, the water was a, um, to me was like a metaphor for change, transformation. That we must mm -hmm. keep must keep growing. You know. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Indeed. So here now this is in the Husi in the book of. Uh, uh, Nefer Hotep. Nefer um, is a word that means uh, beautiful. Nefer Hotep. Um, generations pass away. Uh, I, I, I'll let somebody else read that. Uh, I, I always read stuff. Uh, if someone wants to read that for us, go ahead. Generations pass away since the first day of creation, and other generations come in their places. The splendor of Ra rises in the morning and goes to rest in the west. Men beget and women conceive and every nostril breathes air. Day dawns and the newborn go to their appointed places. Celebrate the days of rejoicing then, O priest. Put the finest scents to your nose and garlands of lotus flowers around your neck and shoulders and on the body of your beloved sister Oh, who sits beside you. Set song and music. 
before you and all evil things behind. Remember only joy until the day comes when you reach the port and the land that loves silence and give bread. I can't see. Let's see. And give bread to those who have no people. Or so shall you gain a good name for the future forever. Yeah. So this is another um, another very uh, positive looking, you know, rejoice, you, you know, these, 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 these happen, you know, the sun rises in the morning and goes to rest in the West. As a matter of fact, one of the uh, uh, ways that our ancestors referred to the transition is Westing. They refer to it as Westing. So it's giving us again that that imagery: the sun rises in the morning and goes to rest in the west. Men begat, women conceive, and every nostril breathes air. Day dawns and the newborn go to their appointed places. Celebrate, you know, celebrate the days of rejoicing. Then put the finest scent to your nose. You know, don't don't walk around screw face or you, you know, uh, set song and music before you and all evil things behind you. And remember only joy until the day comes when you reach the port in the land that loves silence. And this is what we were referring to earlier, you know, the land that loves silence. You know, and we we'd said that when people come to us in dreams, you know, initially they're not saying anything. They're 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 just being silent. I'm going to go to this next um passage and this is uh in the book of the coming forth by day and uh if someone could read that one for us hopefully it, that's is that big enough for everyone to see what, what page you i'm on page it, it's it's the first passage in the book of the coming forth by day so it's it's toward the end of the book i i didn't i don't think i included the you got it? Yeah, I got it on page 105. I can read it. Okay. okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, read it. Go ahead. Go ahead. That is the first one? Yeah. Uh-huh. Number one. Let me see. Okay. Oh, you who bring blameless souls in the house of Osiris, the risen Savior, bring this excellent soul with you. Let him hear. Let him, her, hear as you hear. And see as you see. Let him, her stand even as you stand up and sit down as you sit down. Oh, you who give bread and beer to blameless souls in the house of Osiris, give bread and beer day and night to this soul whose word is true before God, Lord of the sacred city of Abydos. And before you, O oh, you, oh, you who opened the way and cleared the paths for, for blameless souls in the house of Osiris, open the way and clear the paths for the soul of the one whose voice is vindicated by you. May he or she enter the house of Osiris in boldness and come forth in peace. May he or she not be opposed or sent back. May he, she enter praised and come forth loved and triumphant. May his or her commands be carried out in the house of Osiris. May his or her words travel with you. And may he, and may he, she not be found deficient in the balance and be free from all faults. Any, uh, any, any um, observations or uh, uh, statements uh, anyone like to make on that? I just know this is uh, some that they would read in the judge during the judgment scene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, um, you know when it says Abydos, this this is Abydos. I, I was I was actually there. That's the picture I took. That's that's uh, or or Abdu um, is um, is the indigenous word, but it's known as Abydos, the temple. Of, of Abydos. 
it's it's a it's a center for uh the uh worship of wasir um otherwise known as osiris all right let them uh let them stand up even as you stand up and and sit down even as you sit down you know open O oh, you who open the way and clear the path for blameless souls in the house of Wasir. Open the way and clear the path for the soul of this one whose voice is vindicated by you. That's when they, um, the way they would say that is Ma Karu, true of voice. May they enter the house in boldness and come forth in peace. May they not be opposed or sit back. May they enter praise and come forth loved and triumphant. And may they not be found deficient in the balance and free from all faults. It's a beautiful passage. Um, the book of coming forth uh, by day uh, has uh, many passages such as this. And and number two, I don't have number two up, but Damani, since you have your Lucia open, why don't you read number two too? Okay. Number two, may I not be judged according to the mouth of the multitude. May my soul lift itself up before my heart and be found to have been righteous on earth. May I come into your presence, O Lord of Lords. May I reach the hall of righteousness. May I rise like a living God and, and give forth light like the divine powers that are in heaven. Let me proceed in peace to the West. May the Lord, lords of the sacred land receive me and give me threefold praise in peace. May they make a seat for me besides the elders of the council. May I ascend in the presence of the beneficent one. And may I assume whatever form I want in whatever place my spirit wishes to be. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, beautiful passages, the book of the coming forth by, by day. Uh, uh, Europeans have mis, uh, mistranslated that, and uh, they uh, call that book the book of the dead, but the, but the actual title is the book of the coming forth uh, by day and, and by night. Um, I'm I'm uh, messing with this picture here, and uh, I uh, I have a reason for that. Um, so here, uh, I was going to ask, can anybody tell me who it is? But I I just wrote the name. So here is is Krishna, and uh, you know, growing up in Oakland, you go downtown uh, on Broadway. There would be these white people, and I guess some sometimes they would be in um, at the airport, and they were called Hari Krishnas, and and you know they would be chanting and everything. But but when you uh, go back in in history, uh, in the Indus Valley, Krishna, this is Krishna. So uh, here on the left is a uh, is a book. Uh, African presence in early Asia. It was part of the Journal of African Civilization by Dr. Ivan Van Sertima. And this is Krishna here. Let me make him bigger, just in case you can't, can't see. This is Krishna in the center. And uh, this is a heavenly scene. This is Brahma, uh, Shiva, and Vishnu, Brahma, the creator, Shiva, the uh, resolver, sometimes people refer to him as the destroyer, and uh, uh, Vishnu, the preserver. These are three aspects of creation, and Krishna is an, is an incarnation of these um, concepts of God. And then in the, the book Bhagavad Gita, the song, which means the songs of God, the, the, the whole book is having a conversation with Arjuna. 
And this is Arjuna here. And see, he's got his dreads. And, uh, you know, he has these, these uh, uh, what would be referred to as Africoid features. And these are, these are part of his soldiers. And this, this is uh, Krishna, and this is a heavenly scene. And the reason why I'm showing that to you is because, let me get out of here. Because I wanted to read something from the Bhagavad Gita. And I know sometimes people say, you know, well, we're an African, uh, we're an African uh, uh, spiritual movement. Why are you, you know, introducing these other things? I just want to show you that uh, that Africans um, uh, are 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 all over, you know, and um, so let's see, I'm trying to get to this. so um, so you know this this book is talking about you know it's the dialogue between Krishna. And Arjuna. And Arjuna is getting ready to uh, get into a battle, and he and and Krishna is his chariot driver, and he, and uh, he's looking across the battlefield and he's seeing people he knows, and you know some may be relatives, some may be friends. He's getting ready to to get into this battle, and you know he's. He, he, he's, he's sorrowfully reflecting on what he must do. And uh, so after he says all that, Krishna comes in and he says, your words are wives, Arjuna, but your sorrow is for nothing. The truly wise neither mourn neither for the living nor the dead. There was never a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor any of these kings, nor is there any future in which we shall cease to be. Just as the dweller in this body passes through childhood, youth, and old age, so at death, he merely passes into another kind of body. The wise are not deceived by that. Feelings of heat and cold, pleasure and pain are caused by the contact of the senses with their objects. They come and go, never lasting long. You must accept them. A serene spirit accepts pleasure and pain with an even mind and is unmoved by either. He alone is worthy of immortality. That which is non-existent can never come into being, and that which can never and that which is can never cease to be. Those who have known the inmost reality know also the nature of what is and what isn't. And then he goes on to say, bodies are said to die, but that which possesses the body is eternal. It cannot be limited or destroyed, therefore you must fight. And then he goes, and so he says, some say this Atman, and that's a word for the soul, or you know, in the comedic say, uh, sense, the Ba. Some say this Atman is slain. Others say, call it the slayer. They know nothing. How can it slay or how, or who shall slay it? Know this Atman, this soul, Unborn, undying, never ceasing, never beginning, deathless, birthless, unchanging forever. How can it die? The death of the body, knowing it birthless, knowing it deathless, knowing it endless, forever unchanging. Dream not that you do the deed of the killer. Dream not that the power is yours to command it. Worn out garments are shed by the body. Worn out bodies are shed by the dweller within the body. New bodies are donned by the dweller like garments, not wounded by weapons, 
not burned by fire, not dried by wind, not wetted by water. Such is the Atman. And here's the uh, the uh, footnote at the end. The Godhead, Atman, is the Godhead that is within everyone. So I wanted to uh, I wanted to do that. So and, and that's, and that's uh, from the Bhag. It's called the Bhagavad Gita. For short, it's called the Gita, G-I-T-A. And uh, I, I always uh, reflect on on those passages. Um, I, I should do it more, but you know, at these times, I reflect on on those things. Any uh, so, comment? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go I, ahead. So the book, the name of the book, is Gavid Gita, and you're oh, 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 hold, hold on. the uh, yoga. Are are you able to get things in the chat? Um, um uh sister mona i can mm, I, 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 no I, I, okay i can okay let me uh, email it to me later maybe yeah maybe i can do that let's see let me do it now all right let's see okay uh, do I have you in here yeah all right anybody and else want to me to minister okay. Okay. Okay, Judy. Judy. well three well. three yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I can't see the hands right now. Tony, uh, Sister Tony. Oh, oh, Tony. Yeah, okay, Tony. Yeah, Shishim. All right, Shishim. I I know I don't have. Uh, well, I don't know. No, 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 don't mail it to me. That's okay. Okay. No, I just want to speak, but I'll, I'll wait for Tony. Sister Tony, okay. speak. Okay. Uh, is there anyone else that that would like a copy? Anyone? I can't see. Yeah. Yes, don't, uh, sugar D. Okay. Uh, May I ask a question? Uh, yes, yes, please. Uh -huh. I am. I have this book, <laughs> and I'm just looking on my shelf. Somebody handed it to me in a, I guess at an airport somewhere, and it mm -hmm. says "God by Gita as it is." Mm -hmm. Is that the book? It is, um, you know, there's different, like there, like the Bible. There's different, uh -huh. uh, there's different uh, versions, interpretations, okay. Okay. etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. But anyway, I I sent a PDF uh, to to those of you that that uh -huh. wanted it, and it just Thank it just. You. Thank you. So there you go. Thank you. There you have it. All right. I would like to say something for a minute. Go yes, go ahead. Okay, yes, I my mother had this book when I was looking through books uh, years ago, and I I've seen this book and read some of it a while back, and I and I also was introduced into Raja Yoga, which oh, is yeah. um, yes, you know, the royal supposedly way. yeah one of the king they say the king of yoga, but it was um that, I, it, I just uh, mm -hmm. that that word Raja means king. That, that, that word Raja means king. Means king, okay. But I find that um, the Eastern philosophies, I, I just really resonate with them. Uh, what you just read was so beautiful, but I want to definitely want to revisit. But I was very, um, I was very surprised that the close-up photos to see that these people looked African. Um, the photo that you just shared with us, that's what I was looking at before you said it and pointed it out. I was like, wow. Yeah. I'm not we, shocked, but I was happy to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't we don't get that. Uh, uh let, let me let me bring it back up. We don't we don't usually see that. Thank God for Dr. Ivan Van Sertima, Wayne Chandler, and Renoko Rashidi for um for uh uh, uh pointing that out to us because you know we just we don't we don't know all of our, see Arjuna, there he is. And, and all of them have Africoid features and it's in stone and, and, it is, and it's ancient. And this is, this, this is the cover of the book. So this, and, but you know, like a, lot of, like a lot of places, our noses are cut off. They they, right. they they cut our noses off. That's but always I, a dead giveaway. <laughs> yeah, 
I, I know because you have that big space, you know, you know, uh, oh, uh, another some, African. <laughs> something was there. Yeah. So uh, I just find I just find this uh, this particular statue fascinating. And since, you know, because like I said, we just we just knew about Hare Krishna, you know, some people, uh, you know, uh, chanting and, and steaming crazy at the airport. They yeah. were at all the airports. Yeah, yeah. And, and we we don't know the African presence of, of, of that major deity. But 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 not even just dealing with that. Because we need to get beyond this person is black and that person is black. But the teachings, you know, in 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 the Gita, uh the, the spiritual uh essence of that is what we really should be focusing on. This, this, that's just my opinion. And so I'm, well, I'm you, interested with you. That's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at too. Uh, I never read this book, but it resonates with me because it's what I think. Uh, mm -hmm. My life itself, if I were to read a book, I just, I just get off in nature and just, just see what things are and what I know from my own experiences, you know, by life itself. Yes. Uh, because if a person doesn't, doesn't doesn't have to read to understand anything uh, by life, you know, uh, in nature. Mm -hmm. But the more you read, of course, the more you educate yourself on other philosophy that other people are speaking to it. But everybody speaks on the same thing because nobody's any different, you know, in terms of human being. We all the same, you know. Uh, yes. But it resonates with me uh, really because it makes sense, you know, what I think. My life is going with me, and I'm just looking outside my body. Everybody's the same as me, but just you know, we treat a little different. That's all. And, and you know that scripture that I read. Uh, there's a similar scripture in First uh, Corinthians, First um, Corinthians 15. Uh, it, it talks about that. Uh, Sister Judy, thank you, uh, Sister Judy. You have your hand up. Yes, I was gonna. I could relate to what the brother just said because. Um, I, I always feel as if there's just that we all have an inner knowingness within us anyway. We already know the truth and everything anyway. So when we get around knowledge or hear something that really re resonates with you and aligns with what you just already knew it anyway. But I was going to say, I keep, I have a sister friend here in Atlanta. She's always periodically in the last several months inviting me to come to this Hare Krishna ceremony group here in Atlanta. And of course, you know, I'm thinking, oh my God, I don't think I'll be going there. <laughs> but now that, you've, now, now that you've talked about it and I'm thinking I'm gonna go with another sister. She said she would never join, but I would like to at least check it out. And what I was gonna ask you, who Krishna, how does that relate to what are the Hare Krishnas? Uh -huh. What is their basic, um, supposedly, how do they? Where do they come from? You, you know what? I I don't know uh, the the fullness of of that. Um, oh, Hari, Hari is um is um uh, uh, it's like a I, I forget what it means. It's so it's spelled H A R E R I E. Oh. Uh huh, and um. I forget, but but it's you, you know it's it's giving a praise to Krishna. That that's that's really what it. Um, well, you know what? Let's let's look it up now. Uh, and, and Who is Krishna? Who is Krishna? That's Krishna? what I wanted to know. Who is Krishna? What, to, especially for him out? How does he? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Krishna is one of the crucified saviors. Krishna, Krishna is on the same level. To people that are are Hindus, Krishna is the equivalent of what Christ is to Christians. That's that's who Krishna is, and Krishna is centuries older than uh, Christ, Yeshua. That's that's who Krishna is. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that, yeah. it was a uh, sixteen centuries, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And from my, from my own just personal thought, 
Osiris, Osiris was the first savior. Mm -hmm. And the others come afterward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's true or not, but it just, it seems what it is in history to me uh, when I read. Uh, yeah. I, see the, I see the one before Osiris uh, in terms of information, uh, documentation. Yes, yes. Well, uh, yes. Yeah. So there's a book. It's called. It's by Kirsty Graves. It's called the Sixteen Crucified Saviors. And uh, so, uh, Cutsaquato. Uh, um, I, I, I mean, uh, there there are there are people that fit this savior in in a particular religion. Uh, in, in men, you know, just across uh, the the span of time, and uh, they so uh, uh, there there's there's uh, crucified saviors in in Greece. There's crucified saviors in Mexico, and if you if you get the book uh, uh, Sex and Race, Volume One by J. A. Rogers. He has a picture of Cuzquato, and he's and he's like blue black, you, you, you know. And so a lot of these a lot of these saviors uh, in history uh, were uh, depicted as as African people, as as black people, you know. And I, again, not everybody was black. Okay, I don't want to, <laughs> you know, but uh, many, many, many were. Okay. All right, it's seven. It's seven oh six, and um, I know that uh, some of you on the on the East Coast, uh, it's it's ten o'clock, and you. Uh, oh my God! Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's just time for dinner. It's time for dinner. It's time for dinner for me. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I I thought out some some salmon. Haven't eaten all day, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs and fix me some salmon and broccoli right now. So, oh, this uh, is a good time to fast. Go right ahead and eat it. Have yourself a ball. <laughs> Maybe I should wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow, I got something really exciting to do. A sister, her name is uh, Elika, and she invited me to her elementary school, and I'm going to be pouring libation. Uh, tomorrow at eight forty. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta get up and. Uh, hey, y'all, close that door. Let's we'll say again. <laughs> yeah. Minister Emma, before you go, I was just wanted to say, um. I was thinking, although this is something for another time, as far as conversation, but I was thinking that those, um, all of those different saviors. Yes, sixteen or what? Or you know how many? I'm sure it's more that are not recorded because all of us are that actually. But mm -hmm. I was just thinking they probably are still all the same spirit. I mean the same being, same, you know, us a, a living spiritual being having a yes. human experience, but they yes. are in yes. their you know in their time in their group of people whatever. But it's all the same, you know. Yes. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to get the flyer. God, it won't come up. Let's see. Is, will it come up now? Let's see. Da, da, da. Hey, I just like to say one more thing. Go ahead, man. And earlier we were talking about the city of Abydos. So, yes, Abydos was called the city of Ra, right? The city of Asa. Uh, uh, it, it's 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 uh it's livicated right. uh, to yeah. uh, Wasir or or Osiris. Yes. Right. I like to tell people it was the first concept of a holy city before mm -hmm. you had a Jerusalem, before you had a Mecca, before you had a, a Rome. It was mm -hmm. all that come out of the city of Abydos, the city of, of Asa. Yeah. The city of Rome. And, and uh, maybe one maybe one day I'll just show my picture. So yeah, this is this, this is part of that temple. Right. Uh, of, of Abydos. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's ancient. And then behind it is this thing called the Osirian or the Osirian, and there are no writings, and it's 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 something that's that's very ancient. It's it's more ancient 
than this temple that that's in in my background. And um, you, you know, maybe maybe next time uh, you guys let me know. Uh, we'll we'll talk about this. So I just want to share one more thing before I go. So this is what I'm this is what I'm doing tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> uh, come on, go down. Oh. So yeah. So that so I'm I'm honored. And uh, Ed, you remember her? Yeah, little Imani. Uh, yeah, Rebecca's daughter. She's going to be there. And uh, and then uh, I, I I'm, I'm not sure who this brother is, but uh, I'll find out tomorrow. And this sister, and there I am. So where? Oh, yeah. Nice. So yeah. Minister Imhotep. Also, I almost forgot. Today is my daughter's birthday, her Earth Day. When I saw Ooh. the when I saw the aunt and the. February 2nd, I said, I was going to say something. I said, nope, I'm interrupting the lesson. No. But uh, yep, she turned, this is the exciting part to share with everybody. She turned 29 today. Mm. And you all know I'm 29 again. So we are <laughs> twins today. We became twins. <laughs> you, you know, I'm my. Waiting for this day. <laughs> you know, my mother was really into her sign, she was an Aquarius. Yeah. Wow, her birthday. My mother too. Her birthday was on the seventh, and um, oh, she would wow. give these uh, Aquarius parties. Like I, I remember coming home um, uh, one day, and it was like about twenty or twenty-five people in the house, and they were all Aquarius from various walks of life. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> they were, my mother. My mother is February eighth. See, that's She's an Aquarius, a, mother and daughter. And wow. uh, and um, um, Bob Marley's birthday is on the sixth. Uh, Robert Nesta Marley's on. The my sixth. granddaughter's birthday is today. She's fifteen, and then oh, my um, my son's birthday was yesterday. And don't ask me how old he is because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Happy that's beautiful. birthday. That's beautiful. I see and Minister. Groundhog. Don't forget about the and, yeah, let's don't forget that. And Minister, Minister Alicia, would you pray us out? Is is uh, I I uh, wanted to call on you. Are you at the track meet or track practice? In the, in the I, I'm at um Tawu's basketball practice. Ah. Yes. So Aww. I'm kind of in the dark. <laughs> but right. yes, Things that mothers do. Mothers do everything. Yes, Man, I'm thinking about writing. Um, I was telling somebody I was thinking about writing um taxi on my van. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, flag drop, hugs and kisses. <laughs> 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 oh, because I feel like this is all I do all day. Okay, so I'll be I'll be happy to. Most high, thank you ever so much for this time and this space that we can gather together and convene and talk about higher things and talk about being able to heal hurts and talk about um, things that we can we can do and things that we can research and things that we can delve into to help our hearts down here deal with these things that that we call life yes. holy mother please wrap your arms around us and and bring us peace and comfort as we journey along as we lose loved ones as we keep treading along the way and those who are with us sometimes fall. We thank you so much for this time in this space of laughter and love and friends. Let us never forget these times and as we march on through this journey that we call life. We thank you for this day. We thank you for everyone who has gathered here today. We thank you of those lives of people that we have lost that have touched us in numerous ways. These are your blessings to us, that we had them for the time and the length that we've had them, to bring yeah. us joy, to bring us, to bring us partnership, to, to bring us laughter and love, to fill our hearts, to be yeah. with us as we, as we journey. Yes. These are the blessings that we ask. We thank you ever so much, Most High. Amen and Ashe.
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister. Beautiful. All right, Shashim, don't don't be a stranger. Come check us uh, on on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have First Fridays, and and it's going to be uh, uh, we, we, it's a fellowship. Uh, it's a new, you know, we're not going to uh, cover anything heavy or anything it's like that. Ship. It's a fun ship. It's a fun ship, and and uh, Sugar D is is. Uh, is going to uh, lead us in that uh, along, I believe, with Mama Darnisha. So come back uh, six o'clock tomorrow. Uh, Let we're, me say, Brother uh, uh, well, Hotel, it was beautiful being with you and the rest of the family. Yes, uh, I made a commitment come already before. Come back and visit uh, us, be, please. Yes, I made a commitment uh, a year ago, at least something like that, to come uh -huh. back and, and stay for the rest of the month. I want to hear every minister speak on Sunday. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to hear every minute before I leave again. I'm going to go on again now. I'm going to tell you. I'm coming right. back to hear every minute to speak. All right. I leave All again. Right. All right, man. Sounds good. Sounds right. good. Thank you. Glad you could join. All right. Take care, everyone.